Let me show you how easy it is to do some skirt steak pinwheels on the Weber Kettle Grill. So basically what I'm gonna do is get some skirt steak, get it nice and pounded thin, nice and tender. I'm gonna throw some cheese and some other ingredients on there. Just gonna roll that up, take them out there and get a good sear on the meat. Let it cook indirect for a little bit. It's gonna taste really good, so stick around guys. Check it out. I got some little sauces to go with it too, so here we go. All right guys, so I got this skirt steak right here. I already went through and kind of took out some grizzle and fat off the back sides of these. I didn't cut out too much. I mean, there's still a little bit of silver skin, but I'm gonna pound these out. And I'm gonna use a jacquard on these to kind of get them more tender because they're super thin and I don't want to kind of dig too much into the meat, but I took that off right there. So I'm just gonna get some saran wrap. I'm gonna pound it to get it a little bit tender. Because what you want is you want an even width on this meat, but it's kind of imperfect, so I'm just kind of gonna try to work with it the best I can. And I thought I had a meat tenderizer, but I'm just going with this good old cast iron. I got this jacquard, which is basically some sharp ass needles. It's gonna go through and break down the muscle fibers. I'm gonna do both sides. All right, so both pieces of meat are tenderized. So all I'm gonna do is simple salt and peppers. I got kosher salt. Just gonna sprinkle over both sides of the meat and black pepper. All right, so now that the meat's seasoned, hopefully we got maximum tenderness going on. I'm gonna let the seasoning kind of sit in there for a minute. I wanna work on the other ingredients because that's pretty much most of the work is doing the prep for all this. Because when you throw it on the grill, it's only take a couple minutes, so. I'm gonna start on the prep, so here we go. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is get some bacon in the pan. Just cooking up a bunch of bacon. And you can could, you could put whatever you wanna put. You can put mushrooms, spinach, whatever type of cheese you want, any kind of peppers. It's all up to you, whatever you want. All right, while that bacon is cooking, I'm just gonna chop up some green onions. I got one bunch. Got some sweet peppers. And I got some serranos. So now I cooked all that bacon. I got the bait, little bit of bacon grease left in this pan right here. Got all that veg, I'm gonna throw it in. Just gonna do a little bit of black pepper. A little bit of salt. That bacon grease is already pretty salty, so that's, that's about it. All I'm gonna do is wilt the vegetables. You don't really wanna caramelize them. It's always up to you however you wanna do it. So for this little sauce I'm making, I got a whole head of garlic and I cut the tips off. I just put a little bit of salt and some extra virgin olive oil, wrapped it in foil, cooked it at 400 degrees for like 35 minutes. So I'm putting that in. Just squeeze all the garlic in there. One half of an onion, one whole bunch of cilantro, got a handful of some serranos, one beautiful avocado, got the juice of one lime, hefty pinch of salt, and some black pepper. I'm just gonna blend this up and you just adjust the consistency to it with a little bit of water or some stock if you want. All right, so now we're gonna stuff these up. I got some Gouda cheese right here, some aged Gouda, and I got some pepper jack. I'm just gonna line these first. And you have to think about, you're gonna have a little bit of spillage when you roll these up, so you wanna have a little bit of room on the edges. So I'm gonna kinda just use the cheese as a guideline. And just layer it up like that. Next, going on with the bacon. Got that veg. And just cause I got it laying around, I got some Parmigiano Reggiano right here. I'm just gonna grate that on top, just for the hell of it. And a little bit of cilantro I'm gonna throw on there. I know that's kind of weird putting Parmesan with cilantro, but trust me, it's gonna work out. It's gonna be fine. Obviously, if you're one of those people that hate cilantro, then leave it out and put something else. 
Now all you gotta do is roll them up. Start with the fattest side first. Now whether or not you're using bamboo skewers or wooden skewers or this string like here like I'm using, you might want to soak it in water because if you're throwing it on the grill, it's just, just going to burn up on you, so there you go. I'm going to start in the middle first. And you kind of got to do it, you got to cut off the loose ends because it's just going to burn up and you can't really do anything with that, so it sucks to do, but... So now what you do is cut in the middle of these right here, and you're going to have three sections. Alright, so I'm going to repeat the process with this one right here, and then we're going to get the grill fired up and get it going. Alright guys, so here's the plan. So I'm just gonna clean off these grill grates. So what I'm gonna do is sear these on, on the front side for like a minute and a half, maybe two minutes. Then I'm gonna put them indirect. And but all I wanna do is basically just melt the cheese. I don't wanna cook them too much. Um, this really thin meat, so hopefully they don't get well done. Hopefully I don't screw this up, but it's gonna be pretty simple, hopefully. So I'm gonna set them down like that. Just gonna give these a hard sear, put the lid on it just for like a minute, minute and a half, like I said. And I'm gonna check back. So there it is guys, some easy pinwheels on the grill. Um, these are cooled down a little bit. I've been taking some pictures and stuff like that and some B-roll, so they kind of got a little bit, um, not as pretty as they were, but I don't know how you can see that. Cooked the way I like. The flavor spot on. Taste the bacon in there, the cheese, a little bit of spice. I did my little wannabe Bobby Flay impression, as you can see with all the sauce and everything, but Obviously, if you're making that at home, you don't have to do that. But this is YouTube. But yeah, I put a little bit of queso fresco on there at the end with some Mexican sour cream with that sauce I made. Tastes really good. But thank you for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Try this out. Give some feedback in the comments. Peace out. Thanks for watching.